Well, I'm going to talk this morning. It's going to be a little bit more of a preaching style. I'll confess that up front. It is Sunday, right? Yeah. So, uh, and uh, that means we're not going to go as long, hopefully. Usually those two don't work together. They don't correlate. <laughs> I'm hoping they do this morning. Um, and I hope it's practical as well. Because, uh, you know, when we're talking about sacred shade, you can't help but deal with the question of what is the gospel ultimately? Because why are we doing all these things? Why are we creating, creating these spaces if it's not for unveiling Jesus and the beauty of Christ? Not some propositional statement about you know, what the gospel means. I mean, that's, that's in the background, the backstory. But it's really the living person of Christ. And this is what totally consumed the Apostle Paul. This desire, you know, you got a, a, a person that was a persecutor of the church that was, you know, dragging Christians off to be killed and everything, that has this radical encounter with, with Jesus, and he just cannot put it to rest. Everything he does is within that vein. You know, I've become all things to all men that by all means some might be saved. So he, he could alter. He said, you know, I'm willing to change my behaviors. I'm willing to adapt to culture, and I'm willing to even put on behaviors within culture that I don't naturally do in order to adorn the gospel. And so I like that idea of reducing sunblock, you know, this idea that, that we actually erect barriers that kind of block people from seeing the Son of God. And this morning I'd like to just briefly look at the book of Titus. It's a very short book, and we're going to scan through it. I'm not going to read the whole book, of course, or letter. And uh, just see.